happy Monday. Welcome back to a new vlog. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Sailor. Thanks for joining us. I hope you're going to stay and subscribe. It's Monday and I have been to gym this morning. It's really like super late. It's 10 to 2. I have done a couple of things and I currently am getting the basin downstairs installed. The soonest available um, person to come put it in was only available today. So that's what's happening and then at 3 o'clock I'm taking Sophie to the vet because I don't know why but her like eye is just like oozing and it's like really red so I don't know what's happening. I don't know what she could have done or something hurts her. I don't know when where it happened but these dogs just injure themselves the whole time. Um, and then, what did I want to say? I'm going to be filming a campaign a little bit later for Essence um, and then... Yeah, I think that's about it for today. I need to film a campaign later and I'm still busy editing my weekly vlog from last week which is almost done and then I'll upload and make that live. I'll chat to you guys a little bit later and I'll do some BTS while I'm filming and all of that. But for now, I'm going to carry on editing until um, I have to take Sophie to the vet. I'll edit for the next hour so I can just get that video uploaded and ready to make live. Good morning guys, so today is Tuesday and I am just quickly doing my skincare, I'm actually running late and here I sit doing my skincare but I'm just busy getting myself ready, I'm going for a lash fill and then also um, my nails to get redone because they've grown out drastically. So I'm just busy doing my skincare, I'm just going in with my hyaluronic acid, the hydrating serum and I just rubbed this all over my face. My skincare that I use is from Dot Skin. If you are interested, you can purchase it with the. There's a link in the description down below, and there's a discount code there too. SD Skin, and that gets you a percentage off. Oh, yeah. I love the skincare so much. I just wish my breakouts would just go away because the skincare does wonders for my skin. But my breakouts just make it look like it's not working. But as you can see, my skin quality is amazing. Just going in with my light moisturizer. And then my SPF 30. I love this because it's got an orange tint to it. So it kind of gives your face like this really sun-kissed kind of look. So it looks like you've been spending your day on the beach. Which we officially can because Sorrel opened the beaches, y'all. Can you believe he actually listened to us? But yeah, anyways, the skincare. Look how it gives me such a beautiful glow to my skin. Love dot skin. Highly recommend. I just want to point out, no skincare is ever going to help with hormonal acne, which is what I have. And... <laughs> You know, it is what it is. I've learned kind of now just to live with it. I mean, I got this giant thing that popped up last night. But, you know, my skin is my skin. This is what I was dealt. I must just deal with it. Maybe one day it will get good. Um, I know it doesn't look bad on this camera right now. It's actually clearing up now, but it was so bad last week. So I just washed my hair with my Prasana shampoo. And I'm just adding spray and conditioner to the ends. This is what I usually do. Sometimes, not always. I just alternate because I'm trying to get like rid of products. And I've been using so many at the same time. So everything has stayed. And then I just go in with some hair serum. This is the Lee Stafford one. I just move this on the bottom of my hair. Not in any specific way. Then I take my hair serum from Prasana and I just pop her down there and then along here because I'm trying to grow this hair, which it actually seems to be working. It's crazy. I didn't think that um, the serum, if you like spotted the serum, that it would actually like help in one place because I know that the tablets are, the tablets are obviously the main um, part of the growing hair with Prasana because I mean, hair growth is from the inside. I mean, I didn't actually realize that you can kind of spot treat for more hair growth, but it's actually working like with the serum as well. I just thought it would be overall hair growth. I can't find my wet brush anywhere. I don't know what I did with it. So I'm using this Mr. Price one. It's actually not too bad. But when I'm done with my lash fill and nails, I'm coming back to film. That's why I've washed my hair now. So that by the time I get back home, my hair is dry. <laughs> okay, 
I'll just pop my sunnies on my pup. And then, I just want to, my hair's like this is dripping wet. Okay, I'm going to just dry my hair further, finish my coffee, and then rush off. And I will see you guys when I get there. I just got back from my lash and nail appointment and because I wanted to take my gel, my gel, my gel nails off completely and re-put a whole entire layer on, um, there wasn't enough time for me to fill my lashes but it's okay because I'd rather have them done <clears throat> in a lot of time than like rush them. I don't like when I have to rush people so I opted to rather do my toes instead of filling my lashes so i'll go and get my lashes filled um, a little bit later in the week because yeah i wanted my nails soaked off completely before putting this new nude on which i'm obsessed with i go to sam at smashed in jeffrey's bay if you're ever in the area or if you are in the surrounding areas go to her she is just so worth it and she's also just an amazing person so she'll most likely be your friend at the end of um, all the appointments you book with her <laughs> I am going to be filming a tutorial, or well not like a full-blown tutorial, it's more so showcasing some new products from Essence, I'm doing a campaign with Essence. I love working with Essence and Catrice and just cosmetics in general, because they just give you work so frequently, which is amazing. I mean, I love that. But anyways, we are doing a back to school campaign with Essence. So this will already be live once you guys watch this vlog because I'm filming it now, sending it for approval later. And then I will be posting it most likely either this evening or tomorrow. But most likely this evening because um, these videos are usually very quick. Like I'm sure I'll film this in like under 30 minutes and then edit it in 30 minutes it'll be like an hour and then i'll send it off and most likely be up tonight so yeah there's a whole bunch of new products from essence guys we've got a watermelon extract face hydrate fix and refresh spray we've got a pineapple extract hydrate and glow okay i won't be using the nail polishes in my video but these will go into a giveaway because i don't use normal nail polish at all i do gel okay well i'm gonna get filming with my Canon RP, <laughs> with my baby over here, and then, um, yeah, I'll see you guys a little bit later, or I'll film, see the thing is with makeup tutorials, you can't really film BTS, because you literally just sit here and like show products to the camera and stuff, so yeah, but I think for this video, I'm going to, um, instead of holding it up to the camera like this, I'm going to move out of the frame, and show the product separately on the screen, so that it like focuses on the product, and I'm not in the background, so I'm going to first film the whole tutorial, and then I will um, last, when I film the whole tutorial, then I will do a separate clip with all the products. So that it just makes it easier instead of moving and doing this and then coming back and make sure you're at the exact same place the whole time. So just a little tip, if you ever are thinking of doing videos like that, I'm not sure if you already know that, but I didn't know that. And I used to freaking move like this and then hold the thing when I could have just filmed a separate clip completely and just edited it in between the other clip. just finished filming my makeup tutorial it's just like a really makeup tutorial why do I talk like that um <laughs> but I just finished filming this makeup tutorial for this look it's just kind of like a natural brown kind of smoked out kind of vibe with a little wing and I stuck on the lashes after the tutorial just because I was feeling bougie like that and then yeah just some natural skin listen yeah listen yeah I just 
If there's one thing that pisses me off beyond repair is when a male that doesn't know you from a fucking bar of soap, sorry for the language, calls you lady on the phone. Who are you? Excuse me. I just phoned the post office now just to make sure that I have all the right documents to renew Blazer's car license because he doesn't have time to do it now anymore because he only finishes work at 5 o'clock and it's a mission. So it's so much easier for me to just go do it and I can do it in the morning and I'll get it over and done with quickly. So I've phoned the post office now in Jeffrey's Bay. I don't know who this condescending asshole is, but yo, did he just drive me insane. Like, I literally, I said to him, what form, what do I need? Because I know I need the ALV form and I know I need Blaze's ID and my own ID and like, I know I need them certified. And then I just asked him, what does the letter of authority, what do you need on there? Like, is it just Blaze's name and ID saying I give Sailor my ID number permission to renew my car, my car license, you know, like, and then him sign it? Because I know I've done it before, but I just couldn't remember right now. Usually I deal with a really nice lady there, but whoever this last one is. So he, he says to me, okay, this car license, bear in mind, the car I've been driving, it expired in like on the 20th of June, 2020, so ages ago ages ago i've been driving this car around because i really just couldn't be bothered because it's such a mission for me and it's also a mission it's so much easier for the person just to go renew their license because it's cuts out all the annoying things you have to do <sighs> this car has actually made my blood boil so i say to him i ask him what must the letter have on it because i just want to make sure it's all right before i go there and then they send me away and then i have to come back again because i've done it before but it was so long ago because I usually just send blaze because it's easier. So he goes, has the client received an SMS saying he needs to renew his license? So I said to him, I can see the license is expired. There's no SMS needed. It's clearly expired, you know? And usually the last time, even when there was no SMS or whatever, because Blaze doesn't seem to get an SMS or he just obviously just doesn't tell me. So it probably makes it a lot harder for me to do it. But I say, so he goes, lady, um, has the client received an SMS? I'm not asking you whether you can see it's expired. I said to him, no, he hasn't, but it clearly expired six months ago. Basic. So he goes, okay, then you need to fill out an L ALV form. So I said to him, I've already done that. I just want to know what must go on the letter. I don't, I know I need an ID. I know I need our ID certified, whatever. Like, I know this. So I said, I've already filled out that form. I just need to know. And then, like, he sort of says, lady again. He starts speaking to me like I'm an idiot. He goes, you need a certif... He goes, does that to me. And then I'm like, I'm not an idiot. Tell me what I need on the letter. Because now he's telling me again that I need a certified copy of both of our IDs. And then he says, no need to be sarcastic. So I said, you're the one being so rude. You're the one offering a service and you're treating me like I'm an absolute asshole. He was literally like, it doesn't sound like he was being rude, but he had this tone in his voice that was so condescending. And he was just such a typical asshole of a male. I'm sorry, like no offense to any males that watch my vlogs. I'm sure you guys are lovely people, but this guy, he deserves, he really needs to be punched in the face. And that's just facts you know <laughs> god oh my gosh i actually sometimes men drive me insane like yo they are, they just think that women can't do anything and women are like incapable of just carrying out daily tasks like i don't really want to say this on my vlog but that is 110 percent small energy so anyways Bye. <laughs> Hello beautiful man sir. So um, I just received three packages. Three packages. <laughs> this is how we're doing it. <laughs> three packages. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I received a package from Lee Stafford. I am actually doing a campaign with Lee Stafford around this vegan friendly cruelty free balancing and purifying shampoo and conditioner pink clay so this is the Lee Stafford it's new it's their fresh hair um, shampoo and conditioner I'm really excited to try this because I've heard really good things about it and so yeah thank you so much to Lee Stafford for sending these over and then who is this from 
Oh, yes it is, guys. So I ordered. Um, oh, I know a little while ago, I literally like dissed people that were into ca candles. But this was more so for decor. So I ordered a whole bunch of candles. More so for the decor vibe of it. From, it's called The Muse SA. Yeah, The Muses on Instagram. So that's what their Instagram um handle and stuff looks like and these are the boxes so i'm gonna quickly take a photo with my phone because i want to <laughs> take a moist story and then i will show you guys what they look like um i ordered these candles off the muses sa or the muses whatever and i'm um, so excited so there's a little card on top that says thank you and then inside so i think this is the this is the bigger one, if I'm not mistaken. So it's these beautiful, oh, it smells amazing. It's these beautiful candles that are shaped as women's bodies. I just love this look so much. And I also went for the curvier body. I don't know, I just love it. I don't know why, but it's just like it's it's a naked body. But I feel like we shouldn't be thinking about naked bodies in this way anyways. So yeah, love this. This is the big one. And then inside this one, I got... The smaller version, and this is also the curvy body. And then I also got this cube candle. I think it's so in fashion and just stunning. And they smell absolutely incredible. These are the most beautiful things ever. There's nothing more beautiful than a woman's body. So I kind of lost my scissors halfway through, more than halfway through just after that last one and not. I just had to try and find them. So now we are opening up a package from a Revlon. Love me a Revlon moment. Oh, I saw this on another influencer's stories this morning. Sorry Daisy, did I wake you? We've got little Daisy over here having a little nap ski. Hey, Dazels. You having a little nap ski? Moy. Oh, you're so beautiful. You're the most beautiful cat in the world. This is from Elizabeth Arden. So, we have... A package from Elizabeth Arden, a fresh take on flawless skin caring foundation with 24 hour wear. So we have the skincare meets skin perfection foundation. We've got a serum that preps like a primer, hyaluronic acid. Okay, interesting. So this is what the press drop looks like. We have the product in the middle. I'm going to give you guys a close up now. And so we've got the product in the middle over here. And it says, say hello to new Elizabeth Arden Fresh Start Hydrating Serum Primer. And then underneath, oh, it looks like I've got my shade. We have the Flawless Finish Skin Caring Foundation. And we also have Double Ended Dual End Foundation Brush. It's got like this very rounded shape. And then this obviously for under the eyes. Stunning, stunning. Thank you so much to Elizabeth Arden. I really appreciate it so much. So there's going to be a lot of vlogging footage from this Tuesday because Tuesday I'm just vibing with for content. I'm just like, like I've done so much today and I'm just powering through it still. So I'm just going to continue this content creation situation and I'm going to do the sit down part, <laughs> the sit down part now of my renovations video because I didn't really speak throughout that video. So I'm going to sit down and explain everything as I was doing it and show you the clips in between so that I can post that hopefully tonight because my bathroom is finished. Oh shit, there's one more thing I needed to do. But I can still do the sit down part now and I'll show you in the vlog, um, in that vlog, what I'm going to be doing still that I just wanted to add. Because I feel like it's a touch that is needed and so I'm going to quickly do that. I'm going to eat something because I haven't eaten something properly, like a proper meal today at all. Which is really bad because it's already 10 to 2. And yeah. 
let me go eat i'm kind of feeling like an iced coffee but like i'm kind of less for one of those tiktok iced coffee what is it the dalgona or dal whatever that one i want to make one of those because i made it once when it first came out but i didn't really like it so i want to try it again to see if i enjoy it because oh, you know just so much or maybe i'll just make a normal one we'll see <laughs> I didn't quite do it right but um i don't know if it's windy and you can hear wind but it's still quite good so <laughs> i'm not gonna complain because this is rather delicious i added way too much water i wasn't thinking so i just kind of made it a normal iced coffee with a bit of froth on the top yeah. i'm busy making myself lunch now wow it's kind of windy today but it's hot as hell Ooh, this package is to the Maldives. 21,000 Rand for seven nights to the Maldives. All flights, transfers, and all meals. It's valid until my birthday. Maybe I should go. Now this is seven nights in a four star. The other one is a three star. 23 and a half. Seven nights, all flights, transfers, meals, and selected drinks such a good deal guys imagine just like booking to go to the Maldives right now <sighs> if I wasn't renovating my bathroom I'd go to the Maldives genuinely I'd book to go to the Maldives that sounds like such a bougie bitch thing to say but like I've been saving for the bathroom and I would 100% go to the Maldives if I wasn't redoing the bathroom but yeah the bathroom is more important so yeah I'm making myself some food now and then we're gonna have lunch <laughs> a proper meal guys and Bay, it's so weird usually we have like this wind that just moves right through the town and you just like can't stand on your, like your two legs because the wind is so strong but today we've got like dry Joburg kind of things and pff, I don't, me and Joburg we don't gel well together like we aren't friends um we were in the same group chat a couple of times but you yeah, know because just my vibe um so yeah anyways I'm going to Seattle coffee now and I'm getting myself a Seattle iced coffee and I'm gonna get Sam an iced coffee as well because as I mentioned yesterday I didn't have enough time to do a lash fill but I'm going for a lash fill now because she's available today so getting us iced coffee and then we are going to get new lashes done because we need some lashes it just makes my life easier when I'm doing my makeup but anyways I'm right here right now so I will see you later hello Mensa so the last you would have seen Hello Daisy. Um, whoa. I look like I've been pulled out of a bush backwards. Um, 
Anyways, the last you would have seen of me, my camera's gonna die, was going to get my lashes done. But I'm gonna clean the jacuzzi now and wash the dogs because they are clunking. So, um, yeah, that's what's gonna happen. My battery's literally flashing. It's gonna say it's exhausted soon. So, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna quickly charge my camera and then record where I can and see when my camera charges. But, yeah, I'm gonna go now and I'm gonna eat something else. I'll make myself a tramezzini with smoked chicken and cheese. Yum! And I went to gym today. <sighs> Thriving, y'all, thriving. Anyways, it's so hot, it's 28 degrees. Not even joking. But anyways, bye. Also, look what I bought myself. Some sparkling wine. I got a brute and then I got a sparkling wine, a Cove Blanc Cheer. Don't know what the hell that is, but it's really good. I've had this before. And I really love the green Beck brute. It's a Chardonnay Pinot Noir. Oh, I want to sit myself. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna drink this all weekend. Love that for me. Mimosas. I love drinking. Hey, I love women. Hey, I love Good evening not, it's not evening <laughs> anyways um so i just washed my hair and i actually tried out a new shampoo from lee stafford um only because they've asked me to do a campaign with it but i just wanted to first test it out myself and see if i actually like it because i don't want to do a campaign for something that i don't actually like so the current shampoo that i've been using um like religiously and um the purple shampoo that i use as well so the shampoo that I use, I've been using the Prasana one and I'm very fussy when it comes to shampoos and conditioners. Like my skull. I don't know what I was saying. What was I saying? Oh, I was talking about the shampoos that I use. So um, yeah, for the last, since last year, it was like just after my birthday, I started using Prasana and um, absolutely love the shampoo and conditioner because the shampoo makes my scalp feel really really clean and the shampoo and then the conditioner is a really rich hydrating um kind of conditioner but i'm trying out this new fresh hair by lee stafford and i really actually like it um so i think i'm gonna go ahead with the campaign because i've tried it twice this will be my second time now and the shampoo is a purifying one, so it helps to banish buildup, oil, and pollution in your hair. Okay. Um, and it really gets rid of all the oily hair. I just used it now after the beach, and my hair feels really clean already on top of here. And then the conditioner is a balancing conditioner for nourishing, conditioning, and shine. It's actually for fine hair, this range, which I don't have, but... It works really well for me. So, yeah. Most likely going to go ahead with the campaign because I really like it. Um, they did allow me to test it out before because I wasn't exactly sure. Because I've been loving um, what I've been using so much. So I didn't want to really, like, change. I freaking love the serum so much. It's the sensitive serum from Dot Skin. It's so hydrating. And it just calms down, like, any inflammation on your face. Um, and then I also love my hyaluronic acid. I put this on top. And then I add some moisturizer. But I don't add much hyaluronic acid. I just look, put it mainly in like these areas where my face gets dry. And a little bit around my forehead area. About two weeks ago, I had a whole bunch of like 
those like cyst kind of things underneath my skin where they wouldn't reach the surface and now all of a sudden they are all gone i can't feel any but they like to chill like around my jawline area you guys i don't think anyone actually understands how much i am struggling wow this is such a flattering angle how much i'm struggling with my calves from leg day yesterday like i am actually dying my legs are so sore i'm struggling to walk first of all it's like bad and secondly i've been scarred for life from calf raises because of this reason and oh, it's so, so i can't even straighten my legs properly guys like i'm actually like ready to like give up my gym contract because that's how so like so i am that shampoo is good because my hair has been relatively easy well the conditioner is good because my hair has been really easy to brush through which is usually not the legs my legs this is not fun i don't want to go back to gym ever again like ever again hello my beautiful people so today is actually friday but these dogs are so disrespectful didn't they ever like learn not to sneeze on camera um anyways today is friday and i've decided to end this vlog here because i feel like this week's content has been enough to entertain you and I'd rather add in more of what I film during the week than the weekend. Um, I think tomorrow, if I'm going to be filming anything, it's most likely just going to be a reel for my Instagram or something along those lines. Listen to these dogs in the background. Like, can you actually even do? So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this weekly vlog. Um, you'll see the rest of my weekend stuff on my Instagram. If you don't follow me over there, go follow me. It's just at Saladine. And I will see you next week. Bye.